Well, hello, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. You guys have no idea. I am so happy. Aries and Sag is doing so stinking good. I have got to wrap. They, they have been representing. I'm telling you. Um, I love doing this. I really do. And it was just to see, you know, that I'm a new channel and, it's, and it is pumping. Y'all don't even know how excited I am. But let's get to your read. <laughs> um, so Scorpios, um... There, I mean, I, I'm just going to say like this. You guys have been having some a very complicated situation. I know for, it's different for each Scorpio. Not all Scorpios are the same. And I do apologize about that. I cannot grab everyone's energy. But um, it's, it's a complicated situation for Scorpios in general. There's been a lot of, you know, anger within yourself. Um, maybe because you feel like you've let the person... Um, get away with something or I mean it, it, it's just the way the way it's been looking for Scorpios you guys are just tired okay um, I've already um, gone ahead and shuffled a deck so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle a little bit more but I want to put out the first card just to see what the energy is with you guys to see what's happening with Scorpios okay um, I haven't been getting that many reads for Scorpios, but I'm trying. I'm going to try to do my best to keep my, my channel pumping as much as possible. So let's go ahead and see what I can get off of Scorpios, okay? Okay, so the first, the energy that I'm getting, the first energy that I'm getting, if this person has been taking their precious time coming towards you I do feel like that there was definitely an ending you know it's an ending to a new beginning so whatever it is it, it ended but it's not necessarily over with is what I'm seeing here in this situation um, I just do see a Scorpio that has the intentions on coming towards someone to bring them a gift to bring them a stable offer that is what I'm seeing here um, and, and like I said, this Scorpio, someone's coming towards you. I probably should have said it like that. So even though this could be vice versa, um, you know, this is Scorpio's read and I have to respect them and it just, just say what I see when it comes down to them. So Scorpio, I do see you having many options too, though. But I do see that there is someone that wants to come towards you with a stable offer. There is a sense of uncertainty here, though. So let's go ahead and get the other two cards. Nope, too many. Too many. Literally like five of them popped out. Oh, isn't that amazing? Okay, look at what I just said. Right? Okay, so I, I like I kid you not. I literally just said that. Uh, this is why I'm doing this, just in case you guys don't know. <laughs> there are people who are extremely, extremely gifted, but um, I'm not saying that I'm one. But I'm saying that there are people out there who are, and that's all I'm saying. Okay, so here at the bottom of the deck is the uh, King of Swords. This person was very ooh. So when I see the King of Swords, I see that they're very authoritarian. Uh, uh, how can I explain it? They seem forceful. I'll say it like that. Like I can say the word, but I couldn't think of it right then. So, just, you know, don't, don't hate on me. But um, they're cold, you know, like, have you ever seen someone who, um, who's just, you know, like they're good looking and they're mysterious, but the mysteriousness about them, it's like they, uh, you love the mysterious, the, the mystery, but it's but but also part of that comes the the downside that they just don't open up they're cold you know it's just kind of like uh, just you know bring a little bit of more emotion to this connection bring a little bit more emotion so here what i'm seeing is that there could have been multiple scenarios for the reason why this ended i mean it's not just due to the fact that the person was cold i feel like scorpio you guys could have dealt with that but i feel like the cold nature kind of in, in addition to if they did something and how they reacted when they did something wrong and you confronted them 
And you confronted them to let them know, but it was kind of like this passive aggressiveness or it was just, you know, they just let, let it go. They never answered you. They didn't respond. And so you were like, okay, well, I'm out of here. You know, you didn't really have time for the bullshit. You know, excuse my language, but you really, really didn't. But whatever had ended here, it's going to start back up. That's what I was talking about in the beginning. The ending, there is an, uh, there was an ending, but there's a new beginning here. Okay, so, I mean, it, it's a possible that this could be a new connection, definitely with this Ace of Wands. Okay, this could be you just feeling hurt. There's someone coming towards you in the middle of the fact that you're being hurt, but this person is want to offer something new, some passionate new start with you. Okay, this is someone from your past also, but this is from multiple Scorpios. But I do feel like there is some, there is definitely someone that's coming, but there's still this pain, you know, sitting right in the middle of your read. There's this pain here. Some of you guys don't want anyone new. You just want the, the, the old person. But like I said, this is for different people. But my thing is, is that, you know, you have to be able to get over this pain. You have to be able to heal. So let's go ahead and get your other three cards. This person definitely had options or felt like they had options, treated you like you were an option. Okay. I'm going to put them in order that they fail. Okay. And this is what's at the bottom of the deck. Let me go ahead and bend this down a little bit. Page of Wands. Okay. Sorry for my dirty fingers. Um, I I was playing with playing with my sage. Okay, um, let me just make sure I say that. All right, make you guys don't think I'm a bum. Anyway, um, you know, so here what I'm seeing is, you know, you are definitely someone with wish fulfillment, which is the reason why they're coming back to you. Okay, but they're also your wish fulfillment. It doesn't matter if this person is new. It does not matter if this person is old. You want a certain type of relationship, which is a stable relationship. You are getting tired of this inconsistency. You're getting tired of someone who is very cold. They're not approachable when it comes down to emotional uh, emotions and feelings, when it comes down to actually talking over the situations and the things that happen in this connection. Okay. This has definitely been a burden for both of you, but definitely for you, Scorpios, this has been a burden that you're about to put down. Okay. Like <laughs> you're about to put it down, plain and simple. Okay. But I believe this person, you know, you know, loves you enough that even though they may not express it, um, outwardly, they love you enough to the fact that they want to come back to you. And it's a burden that they have not been able to tell you what they really need to tell you. Okay. So sometimes people hold in love and don't express that feeling and it caused a disruption. And now this has become a burden to them. But because you put yourself first, I had just said that too, though, right? You guys put yourself first, even though you're still feeling that, that heartache, even if it's been a burden. This is future. This is going to happen in August, I believe, and some later. But um, look at how he's, look how this person is viewing you. He, is, he or, or and she, he and slash or she, Okay. You have become very appealing. Queen of Wands just doesn't necessarily represent sex. Now, what's interesting to me, every time I promise you, every time I do a Scorpio read, this Queen of Wands is always associated with the Ace of Wands. To me, this let me know that there's going to be a lot of passionate connection in the month of August and the coming months, okay? But this is not about sex. This is not just about sex. Okay, this person is very attracted to you, but because you, the reason why is because you put yourself first. You did not allow yourself to be run over or any of that other nonsense. When you had enough, you had enough. And that is just a fact. You got tired of it. And so now they want to come back. Okay. With this spark, because you put, you, you put a, a spark in them that they cannot stop thinking about. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards with another deck.
And um, Scorpio, I do see that you guys are starting some type of new business or some type of new adventure dealing with business. Something that's starting, something new is starting, okay? And whatever it is, it's going to make you more appealing to to the person of, you know, of uh, the opposite sex or same sex, whoever, however you guys go. It's going to make you guys very appealing, whatever this new thing is, okay? And this is as far as career. I, I definitely see that. Um, I do see that whatever it is that you guys are hoping for as far as money, I do see that it's going to be, um, it, it's going to work out for you. Um, it really is. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Okay, that actually came out. Oh, wow. <laughs> that popped on the floor. And now I have to readjust because that popped down. I didn't get any more. That's a good sign, though. This person is working on their money. Okay, all right. Okay, so look at what I have. You know... They're going to be they're going to be honest or they're going to have to be honest in order to come to you. This is just a, this is just a fact here. OK, it the, the Knight of Pentacles have been clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. This person is coming and, and this is just basically say this just been a long time. It's been so slow. It's been slow. I mean, I mean, it's been slow. Like I, I, it's almost to a point where I feel your energy. Where it's like I'm so I'm so fucking tired. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to curse, but like seriously, I'm so dead. I'm so tired. Like just just do what just do what you got to do. Like I I'm happy that it's a stable offer. I'm happy about all of that. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's true. But I mean I mean goodness gracious, bring the love. Now with these two together, this is them preparing to come. So it took them a long time, but they're on their way. Okay, and they're bringing you this cup of love. They are a page. I, I said this before in another video with other videos. You know, this is an immature person. This is a page inside of an old, uh, old person's body, an uh, older body, acting immature. Okay, but they, you know, they have to be around you. They need you around. So it took a while, but they're on their way. I mean, that, but literally like his, his cape is flying, right? It's just in a breeze in that, in that breeze. So they're, they're on their way regardless. That's going to happen. And like I said, they're going to be very truthful with you. So let's go ahead. We got to keep it moving. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on with the 10 of swords. What's going on with this ending? I'm not going to do all of them because I don't think I'm going to have time. But as long as we get a full scope of what it is that we're seeing. Ten of ten of swords. bottom of the deck okay all right so let's just switch over to finances for a second oh you guys your money is about to start pouring in there could have been some issues in the past when it came down to money but um it's definitely about to pour in especially with this ace of pentacles and this ten of pentacles um this is talking about a relationship too but like let's not get it twisted okay I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with astrology, okay? If you do not know, there are a lot of signs that are going to succeed in the midst of the storm, okay? And Scorpios, you are definitely one of them. You are definitely one of them, okay? This is big money. This is money. New jobs, new careers, something like that starting definitely with that Ace of Pentacles. Now, if we're going to go to a relationship, whatever ending is going to is going to start back up. Okay. Again, this was just pain and hurt. 
Um, there are this is this is a new offer also for some Scorpios, definitely. Okay. Because you're going to be in this energy of being optimistic and victorious when it happens. You're going to feel like you overcame that, that pain, that heartache, that person who stabbed you in the back. And this person is going to show you a lot of love. Now, whether this is an old or new person, this is all, this is still the same. This person is coming to you with their emotions. Whereas the person in the past was very cold and didn't open up to you. They're going to come to you with truth, being honest. And and have and want a long term stable relationship with you, and they are optimistic, and they will be victorious for most of you, um, um, Scorpios. Okay, they will be victorious. So, and like I said, whether this is new or old, you guys are not. You, I mean, you guys are winning here. So I love to put the best card on top. I'm going to put that money there. The man is there too. That love, that romance is there too. But this money is what's kicking, honey. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and see this definitely with this Ace of Wands and then this with this Ace of Pentacles. You, 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 you're going to be straight. So let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Wands. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. Whatever, whatever that is for you. Which is different for everybody, but whatever it is for you, you will get it. Money and relationship is definitely here on the board. What else can you ask for? Look at that. You can't see it, but I can't wait to show you. There we go. Flipped over. This person is, is regretting. See, this is you guys being very disappointed. You guys were disappointed in this connection, how it happened. The very fact that it didn't work out the way you wanted to work out. Just the very fact that, you know what? Maybe they didn't do what they were supposed to do. And they are regretting the fact that it was like a missed opportunity. Okay, so now they're soaking. You are their son, though. This is healing. This is them when they come back to you. This is also them. This is how I know for a fact that this person, that you and this person are very successful when it comes down to money and career. You guys both are like this at times can bring off a cold vibe when you feel like no one is when when a person isn't treating you accordingly oh you know when to cut someone off you see the leaves on his lap it's just like okay I just give me a reason okay give me a reason but they understand that this is you they understand that you are all in this energy too if you try me but I do believe that this is them. This is them coming to you being more mature about what they feel. Like I said, we had that king of cups there. But look at this sun, guys. This is a brand new start. For some of you, this is going to be a brand new relationship. Someone who is, you know, very, you know, emotionally stable. Someone who's going to be very direct and honest about how they feel. That's Ace of Wands. So that's definitely saying brand new. Okay. But then this could be a, a, once again, a brand new start with the old person. This is definitely both. I mean, it's not just one. This is definitely both here. But with this being here, this person is regretting. This person has been waiting. You've been waiting. And look at this. That heartache there. Third, per, third party. Oh, I see now. Mm-hmm. Third party involved. You may not even known about it, but it was just too... The, the, the fact that it ended too quickly, you, you, you caught wind of this. Okay. But this is also them heartbroken. They're in pain too. And they're waiting. I believe that you kind of cut them off. Maybe you cut them off of internet or something. They don't know where you are. Something about this whole waiting energy makes me believe that they have no access to you. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify this star card. So I'm not going to clarify this burden card because we see that it's been a burden that you guys, how this relationship had happened. Some of you guys, it had been a burden with the, the fact that it seemed like um, you guys were possibly struggling with money. Maybe money wasn't um, the way it needs to be, but you are putting, this is an end to that. Because remember, this is two, this is two tens. This is a 10 of swords and a 10 of, the 10 of swords and a 10 of wands. So it's an end to the struggle, love struggle and money struggle. Okay, that's all I need to say about that. Uh, let's go to the star here. 
Let's go to the, the star. No more struggle, love. Oops. No more struggle, love. Okay. Okay. All right. I just said this with the waiting, right? That's right. You guys are waiting for your wish fulfillment. You're waiting for your money. Maybe um, you're waiting for an answer when it comes down to a job. Okay. But definitely waiting for. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't even see this down here. That's amazing. I didn't even see that, that this was a card that was down here. So this could be definitely you guys waiting for some type of um, offer. Well, not well, a response to a job. Maybe you guys have been looking, trying to, you know, position you got yourselves in a better position financially and you guys are waiting for it. But whatever it is, this is clarifying the start. Your wish is coming true. That's your answer. And this is again, telling you again, will of fortune. This doesn't necessarily, and I'm not saying in this case, because it is, it means it's a good thing, but this means change. Be prepared for a big change happening. Okay, changing of uh, where you live, changing of, of jobs. Okay, but then this is talking about how this is this is this person. This this is you and this is you and the person. But this is this is now with this person because of this because of this is you guys. You're the Queen of Wands here, and they're going to be more cooperative. OK, and it's going to go in their favor because some of you guys are waiting. Also, I saw two different scenarios here. Ooh, Scorpios, go ahead. Money, money. And this person is pretty hooked. OK, this person is pretty hooked, even though they were some a-holes. They're hooked. <laughs> so we have two Queen of Wands on the board. So I have no other choice but to but to clarify this Queen of Wands. Scorpio, this is such a good read. Okay. No more struggle, love. No more struggling. You want to put down this burden all together and be happy finally. Because I mean, I can, I mean, I, haven't you guys been in the energy of waiting and feeling like you've been suffering? Suffering? Mm hmm. I know. No more suffering. Your, your healing is coming. Queen of Wands. All right. Scorpio. Ooh, yes. I can't wait for you guys to see this one card. Okay, I just said that. Look at this. An uh, ending to a new beginning. It came out again. You guys were really hurt. Ooh, Scorpios. I mean, this is debilitating. Okay. You're healing though. Isn't it nice how this sun card is right next to that ten of, ten of swords? You're about to heal. If you're not already, this is coming. Okay. This is coming, Scorpios. Look at this. Money and a relationship. Brand new. A brand new. A, this is the change that you guys are about to see. Your life is about to be completely different now. Okay, so be prepared for that. No more sadness. This person, like I said, both of you guys have been very disappointed, pointed, and this person is very regretful. But you guys have been holding on to each other so much. Okay, but this is again dealing with finances. You guys are getting your bag. And if this is not you, this is the person you're dealing with and they're going to give you a gift. So you're not going to be hurting either. Okay, this is such a good read. You guys been through hell though with this person. You really have. Let me go ahead and just get um. Let me go ahead and do the this moon moonology for Scorpios. Please give me some advice for Scorpios, and this is gonna be the end of the read for you guys. I'm only doing this. I haven't done this for any other read. I'm only doing this for you guys because I just caught a sense of. It, the Ten of Swords being there twice was hurtful. I hated to see that. So you guys have been, oof, in a lot of pain. So let's see what some good advice we can get from Monology here. 
One more. One more for Scorpio. What do you need to release? Is this anger? Do you need to release anger? Do you need to re release gr uh, a grudge, pain? Is it a person? Whatever this means for you, let it go. Okay? This is if it's too much. You can't handle it no more. And if you know something isn't good for you, what is it that you need to release? Maybe it's fear. One more. Luck is on your side. Did not, whew. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, we're talking about love and money. It just told you luck is on your side and this is what's going to happen. Didn't we see that, that wheel of fortune? Absolutely beautiful. Scorpios, this is your read, your beautiful read. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Please like and subscribe and I thank you so much. Bye.